Welcome to Kegel's Produce Playground. I'm Chef Aloy, and I have the pleasure of introducing Chef Christine Hazel. You may know her from Chopped and also Hell's Kitchen. Welcome, Chef. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. What do you have for us today? So we have a beet and goat cheese dumpling. It's topped with a fennel apple salad. So how was it working with Gordon Ramsay? I worked with Gordon in the beginning of my career. I was actually a culinary student at the time, um, so it was my first kitchen job. So it was kind of being thrown to the wolves at that point, but I learned so much. and I think it really helped develop me at a pivotal point in my career. It made me learn a ton, learn discipline, and really ignited a passion in me. So I think overall it made me a lot more competitive in, the, in this uh, culinary industry at this point. So Chef, this dish looks great. Walk us through it. Sure. So initially I was thinking I wanted to use beets and it's a really like earthy flavor. So I wanted to counteract that with some goat cheese, give it some tang, and really bring out the flavors of um, all, the, all those great vegetables and fruit we have right now in season. So we have a little bit of basil and tarragon and apple and fennel that are really going to break up that richness that we have going on with our dumpling. For the fennel apple salad, we just wanted to slice it really, really thin, get a nice little crunch on top of our pasta, which is real thick and, you know, nice firm dumpling. Then we moved on and we toasted our pistachios and chopped them nice and fine so we're not getting too much of a crunch in there. We want it to really be cohesive throughout the dish and you get a little bit in each bite. That's what we're looking for. In our dumpling, we were basically going to add the beet puree, which we roasted with the olive oil in the oven, about 350. We took the puree, put it in the Roboco, and grounds it up with the goat cheese and made a paste basically. We add a little egg and a parmesan for a binder and of course salt and pepper. Then we take our dough, put it on that cutting board and we start folding in our flour. Once the flour becomes incorporated, the dough you'll feel almost gets it's less tacky, it'll be firm. Okay. Uh, and then we took portions of that dough, about I wanna say like four ounce balls and rolled them into logs. And once we do that, we portioned out our dumpling to the appropriate size. I think about a half inch is appropriate. And then after that, we toss them in salted water until they rise to the top. Once they rise to the top, that's how you know they're done inside. And we sauteed them in a little bit of my garlic olive oil. Got a little bit of a texture on the outside, so the crisps on the outside and a little softness, uh, almost like pillows on the inside of the dumpling. Once we do that, we also made our oil, which is an herb oil. I like to take whatever's fresh in season, and right now the basil and the tarragon really work well together. Blends it up with my olive oil and gave that a nice little drizzle on the outside. Um, it really gives it an herbaceousness to the dish, which it needs. So it has a lot of richness and then a lot of brightness from the salad, and then the herbs kind of bring it all together to give you a really, like a full vegetarian dish that hits all those notes. These don't look like your traditional dumplings. I see they have more similarities to a gnocchi. So yes. why did she call it a gnocchi? Because I don't like to be conventional most of the time. I like to kind of, you know, do some modern twists on classic cuisine. Uh, and gnocchi traditionally have potato in them. And I wanted to use something that would give a more creamier texture, like goat cheese. So the goat cheese makes them almost like little pillows and then less starch in them as well so they don't get gummy, like gnocchi sometimes do. So let's go ahead and dig in and try this dish. I'm ready. Get a little apple. Some little dumpling. Gotta get all the components. You got there you that, go. Right? There's a lot in there. There you Fennel, go. Some of this vinaigrette. All right. That's tasty. Very tasty. And those dumplings, I see why you call them dumplings. I mean, that goat cheese is so soft and airy. And then with the little bite of the vinaigrette salad that you have on there with the fennel and apples, delicious. So, Chef Christine, I want to thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Tell everybody where they can find you. So if you're on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, you can find me at Chef Christine Hazel. And if you're interested in shopping uh, for my olive oils or my knife line, you can find them at chefchristinehazel.org. I want to thank you for joining us here today at Kegel's Produce Playground. Check back in for future episodes.